Hello my curious of all cutinesses. Today I am for you a unspecified geometrical symmetrical artistical work of art. And if you want to see how I became this unspecified symmetrical geometrical but unidentified artistical piece of art you'll just have to keep on watching as the work of art is gonna be starting right now hello my darlings today I want to try something I've done things like this before, but not exactly what I have in mind now. And that is to do a look that I'm going to call unspecified symmetry. But it is going to be very symmetrical, but in opposite colors. So nothing's going to be completely black or nothing's going to be completely white. So it's going to be a black, grey and white look. I have got me black and white pencils, cream paints, that's a tongue twister, and grey pencils because the only colors that I'm gonna use are white, black and grey. So, nothing else. Maybe the beigey off white color of my lash glue, but that doesn't count. I want to do shapes and forms and I don't know if I want to do straight forms or if I want to do uh, shapes. It's going to be asymmetrical symmetry in motion. <laughs> I'm going to try for instance to take a piece of anti-allergic medical tape and I'm going to make a line that goes from chin, center of my chin, to my hairline. And I'm gonna cut that away without cutting off my lashes. So I'm gonna cut off a piece where my eye is. Because I think I'm old and wise enough to make a straight line run from one dot to another. And then I want to make that same line follow here. So actually what I get is, if I do that on this side to a V shape. So, same on this side. And now I gotta shut up because my mouth is closed. I want to let this form a V-shape and I'm going to use a white pencil. Now what I tried is actually to make these lines appear straight. They are not straight. But I want to have them straight when you see me from the front. That is some kind of a triangle. Now what I'm gonna do is form a straight line Now, what I also want to do is, for instance, make either two same shapes on the sides or two totally different shapes on the sides. Now, what I want to do is make a circle and for that I am taking a cap of an empty jar and I'm gonna hold that. You press 
very hard and you have your guideline. Or you just go around the lid. And now, for instance, I have here a triangular shape, which I can also use. And I can even use it for what it is. A triscal or trincotta. Which I'm gonna check out. This line, for instance, comes from under. That's a whole line. This one's a whole line. And this one should be a whole line. Which means that this one goes over here it goes under that one and that one goes over the So to make sure that I have this right, I'm going to color it in immediately. So this one is full. This one is full. And this one is full. So it's over, over, over. Okay. Which means that if I take a black, the other one will be the other way. I'm just mapping this out to know where I have to be. So that is over. So, I will need cotton tips to... So what I really want to have is that goes over that, this goes over that, and this goes over that. It's all kind of simple, you just gotta think and be logical, and that's the hard part in life. Think and be logical. And this is a circle! And right in the center, where the other one is, I'm gonna give it a good press. And... With a sharp pencil. <laughs> you know what? I'll take black. Because one of the two is gonna be opposite anyway. Just let the sharp tip go in that pressed in edge that you've just created. A few things that I want to do with this look is one thing, half the color that I want to have it, for instance, black and one half white. Let's say I want to have this halfway cut with that line I now take a black pencil which makes that a lot a lot easier now here the same
So now you can do the same with a couple of different shapes that you have. If you have, for instance, I've got some nail shapes here that I can stick on and go around. Just gonna take a few off. So what I can do is go around. If I do that in the other direction too, while it still sticks, and go over the same way. You even can put one more up there, that would even make it more nice, it doesn't matter. I can use it as long as it sticks. Now, what else am I gonna do? I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. But make straight lines on this side too. Like so. And one last little thing is that over. Now you're gonna say what she gonna do with all those parts. Well I'm gonna color them in all half white and half black but the one half black on that side the next black on that side and the background is gonna be black white black white black white black. So what I'm gonna do first now is outline the parts that I am going to do black. And I'm gonna do that like I normally do with a very fine brush. I'm gonna use black water activated paint. I just tried one line, la, 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 line with water activated paint and that works fine. So I'm gonna do this on this side too. And I chose to do the outer parts black because I'm gonna wear a cap that goes around my face so that I don't have to paint my neck and everything too or my ears so that the black will fade away into the black of that cap so or if you wear a hoodie or anything so this line I can make thicker And that will be painted black completely but not now I'm just gonna do that edge an edge of about a centimeter so that I have working space because I'm gonna probably have to correct things because against it I'm gonna work with white I'm gonna do that on both sides because if I don't do that it's gonna be not dry enough to work with the white against it. I'm gonna do the same with these lines. So these tips where there is no coloration of a shape I'm gonna do black also. But there's one specific difficulty in this look and that is that every shape that's in there is also gonna be in the opposite colors but vice versa. That's why I've put it half half. So if this is the black area, this circle is gonna be black in that white area. So this is gonna be black. In the beginning the type of drawing that I'm doing now can be very very confusing. So it's normal that you're gonna say oh, what, wait, what, wait, what, what, but it's all gonna be more and more visible 
line by line. Okay, looking good already. And I'm just swapping from one side to another. It all has to be painted. But what I can paint with this small brush or outline. I'm gonna do first, of course. So the only thing that I really want to have uh, in the order that it has to be is this Trinquetta. Because if you're gonna do that in a different shading or shape, you're gonna have to paint it all white and just do the lining with black and do a lot of shading with grey. Because you're not gonna be able to do this optical illusion, what I am creating here, because if you're gonna do that, you are gonna lose completely the shading work of your Trinquetta. Or Trisco, whatever you want to name it. Now, that's a lot of words for a simple explanation, just leave that as it is. Black, white, black, white, black, because that's gonna be white. If that's white, this little triangle is gonna be black. All logic. I do want to have a nice connected line down the chin because if my cap would, for instance, come to here instead of exactly where that line is, it's going to be visible that there's skin bare. So I'm going to do a stripe of my neck also in black so that that is covered. Now, as you see, black, white, black. So if this side is black, this should be black too. Looking strange, I know. Very, very strange. Looking like a robot, actually, with these tip things here. Just randomly making stop lines here, so that I can do my eye makeup from there on. Now, these also have to switch from side to side, so there has to be a middle line. And which you do on which side doesn't actually matter. That is totally unimportant in this case. So that's about that. Now, what I am going to do too is these are gonna be white, this is gonna be white, then these are gonna be black. So I'll have to make sure that the half circle of that. be lined very clearly.
So now this is all completely Picasso logic and I am going to color in this part now. Now I am really specifically doing the Trinquetra or Triscal without having the swip swap in the center because if you are really going to use this look, a Trinquetra is very hard to paint by itself, so I'm not going to make it even harder for you to recreate and to have it swip swap in the center. So let's just leave that normal. Okay, this is looking very weird in the mirror and in the viewfinder, but what I'm going to do now is do my lips and eye makeup before I continue filling in all these shapes. Because the mistake that I'm going to make, maybe, with my eye makeup, I will have to remove them and if it's on a white painted area, I'm going to ruin it. So I'm going to start off by doing my eye makeup and I'm going to use grey for that. So the outer part or the center part of my eye I'm going to start with grey and I'm going to use a fine brow brush actually to make me a winged eyeliner. First I'm gonna use this normal subtle grey by Crayola. And I'm switching in between a brow brush and a round bullet brush. Now I really don't know why I pulled the line through on my eyelid. Because that's actually not necessary. If I wouldn't have used water activated paint, I would have had to do this with makeup remover. I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna take the same gray. Oof! Eh. Okay, it's open. <laughs> With a fluffy blending brush, I'm gonna take the same grey eyeshadow that I was using and I'm gonna pop that in my crease and work it outwards. Then I'm going over to this a very dark but gorgeous shimmery eyeshadow. But it doesn't want to be applied with that brush. So I'm taking my bullet brush again, my detailed round bullet brush and I'm gonna do the outer part of my eyelid and the crease. So the outer V actually in a shimmery grey. So far so good. Taking the fine lining part of this brush and I'm gonna build my wing. I'm now gonna do that with real eyeliner. And once I have my outer V shape, that's my wing actually, I connect it to the lower lash line which I pull down and connect to the black. I'm going to do my waterline with a normal MAC black eyeliner. What 
what I'm gonna do now is take a grey lipstick I have dark grey and I got light grey so in the white part I'm gonna use the dark grey which normally would be the light grey because it is the ombre effect but then the other way around that I'm gonna do now What I'm gonna do now is take my lighter grey Now as you saw I did not connect the black uh, the dark lipstick and the lighter lipstick exactly in the same spot because I'm gonna line that off with black once it's completely dry so I'm also gonna outline the lips once they're completely dry but first I'm going to start with my white I am going to apply mascara to my lashes And once my mascara is dry, I am gonna pop some glue on my falsies and pop them on. Now it's actually all about filling in the blanks. And this is also just water activated paint. Now the very last thing there are to do is just put a black line around here and go around these lines. If that's done, I'll be back for my in and outro. See you soon. So I really want to thank you all for watching this unspecified, symmetrical, geometrical, but unidentified, artistical, piece of art tutorial with me if you're not subscribed to my channel yet please do so leave some nice comments down below give me some thumbs up ring the notification bell to see whenever I upload a new video or a new piece of art and for me there's just one thing left to say and that is my love for makeup and art is spread all over to you and I really hope to see you again soon in one of my coming videos. So for now, bye bye!